Alright, solving equations is what we're talking about right now in Algebra 2A. Okay, and here's the lowdown. Uh, from your Algebra 1 year, we have talked a lot about uh, working with solving equations. Okay, so this is just a general review. Now, this is how I usually teach my classes. Okay, there's a difference between what you see and what you do. Okay. Alright, so if you see addition in order to solve an equation by working backwards, you would do subtraction. If you see subtraction, you would do addition. If you see multiplication, which is this terminal, this symbology we're going to use, you're going to do division. And if you see division, you are going to do multiplication. Okay, now something else we're going to learn this year, and I, I, I'm obviously going to show you guys again, is if you see squaring, we're going to be square rooting. Alright, and that's, that's how you type out square root. And if you see square root of something, remember whatever comes after square root is basically in the parentheses, you would square to get the answer. And you well, you, you can apply this to any kind of exponent type thing that we're talking about. I know that some people, when they see a cube, okay, they're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Uh, well, you do cube root. And I'll show you how to do that with the calculators later this year. But I just wanted to show you that this pattern carries over. Okay. Uh, also in the logarithms, we'll learn about how to solve equations with logs, how to solve equations where the x is in the exponent, but this is just the simple stuff you do right now. Okay, and number one, uh, first step, and uh, just talking about the steps of what we do, okay, uh, you want to always distribute. Alright, that's the key, most important idea. Okay, step number two is you you want to get rid of all but one variable. Okay? Alright, and number three. Oh, no. Sorry, that was step number three. Jeez Louise. Let's erase that. Move this one down. Change that to step number three. And I'll explain why these come in a certain order. You'll see why in a sec. Okay, step number two. Okay, combine like terms, pretty easy stuff. All right, now, uh, real fast, all three of these. Sometimes you'll be doing step number one, and then you go on to step number three because there's nothing to combine. Sometimes you'll just start with combine like terms, and then you'll get rid of one variable. And then sometimes you'll just distribute, and then you solve. So it just depends upon the problem. But these are the three main ideas you want to do first. Because if you do those three things, step number four is solve a two-step equation, a simple two-step equation. Okay? That's just very, 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 very simple idea behind it. Okay? And your... No, not always. Okay? Uh, so usually if you can do these three things and you just work it down, it becomes a two-step equation and we all know how to work two-step equations. Okay. Now, uh, equations, you guys, you have to understand... They're not designed to be pretty. So, like, for example, on this one, I would distribute the 3 to each part, okay? And I get 3x minus 24 minus 9 equals 5x plus 3. Okay, they're not designed to be pretty. So, if you get a number at the end that's like a fraction or a decimal, and you're like, oh, I'm supposed to get something nice, it's not going to happen always, okay? Uh, I would go on to step number 2 to combine these two. And so I get 3x minus uh, 33 equals 5x plus 3, okay? And then I would just get rid of one variable, so I had minus the 3x, 
from both sides, minus 3x. Okay, and negative 33 equals uh, negative 2x plus, no, not negative 2, positive 2. Jeez Louise. Okay, equals 33. Well, this one just happened to turn out to be that way. So if I minus the 3 from both sides, I get negative 30 equals, well, not minus the 3, uh, I would get 36. Whew. Would equal 2x. Alright, and then I divide both sides by 2, I would get negative 18 equals x. Okay, this one just so happened, I just came up with this problem on random fly on it and stuff. But as you can see, it, I, I followed the steps. I did step number 1 right here. I did step number 2 right here. And then I did step number 3 right there. Okay, and if you have multiple things, usually if you do the combined like terms, you only have like two variables left anyways. Okay. Um, oh, there is one. If you get something that looks like this, x squared minus uh, 5x plus 9 equals 0, you are going to have to solve it by either factoring or you're going to have to use the quadratic formula. Formula. <laughs> I like how I mumbled there. Quadratic formula. So sol solving by factoring or quadratic formula. Okay, so this is the only tricky one that you guys are going to see, and usually the thing that gives it off is there's an x squared and an x left. Okay? Alright guys, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next lesson.